stuck there. This morning we're leaving Bremer Bay. Couple sorted. Carol's just doing her thing. <laughs> uh, pack the tinny up, put it on the roof. Chuck the trailer in the back. Um, yeah, not much to pack up really. Got the new hitch on. Boom. Ready to roll. Hopefully it's um it's a good thing. Yeah, it's only 100 k's we've got to go today, which is not too far. And we should get there by about lunchtime. I think there's about um, 20 k's of gravel into the campground and hopefully there's some uh, spots available. Sweet. It works. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we have just left uh, Bremer Bay Caravan Park, which we've been there for the better part of a week. And um, just while we waited on parts for the van and the new tow hitch to arrive. Uh, so that was pretty good. The end result with that was that um, uh, Alco accepted um, it was a failure on their part. So uh, they gave me the new updated version of the new hitch, which is, um, couple of years now that they've had that on the market so must have bought that just before they released the new one but anyway it's on now so we'll see how it goes it okay. seems um, a lot less moving parts uh, which is a good thing uh, maybe the other one was a little over engineered I'm not too sure but either way um, it all worked out in the end and they got us a new hitch and we went and picked that up from my parents who we met out on the road the other day that were passing through. So it was pretty good. There's the brewery. Very conveniently located near the caravan park. Uh, but yeah, we're off to Cape Rich uh, campground. It's 97 kilometers away. Oh, we made it to Wellstead which is uh, where we turn off and we've got another 20 odd k's to drive in. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna check out the hitch and everything. Kel's just gone over to the general store to see if there's any um, whole grain bread or any other supplies we might be able to get because we're running pretty low until we get sort of through Albany. Not much really to check other than it's all latched on and uh, grab the spanner out and just check all the bolts. And I'll um, check them again when we get there. Well, cam bag's full. All lots are good. These are nice and cool. But surprisingly, other than that window, uh, we don't really get any dust in it going down gravel roads. I keep uh, I keep that one taped up, and I've opened this one up before and checked behind the fridge. But surprisingly, um, there's bugger all dust in there, so it's not too bad. Not too bad for an old van. Anyway, we'll hit the road and get to Cape Rich campground yeah it's about 20 k's away depending on how bad the road is might take us like uh could take us wherever another hour or so but uh, i don't think it'll be that bad and we found um most roads that are looked after by council uh pretty well graded and roads that are looked after by national parks are fairly shit off we go uh, the track's not too bad, but uh, we'll let the tyres down anyway, just to save the track and save me teeth. Let them down to 25, 30 or something. So we haven't got any flash um, tyre deflators. Um, Kel uses a bit of stick, and I just use the gauge. Uh, but 45 seconds goes from 40 down to about 28. 
jam and stick in. So if you can count the 45 seconds, you're pretty good. Sweet, well the, uh, the hitch made it, which is a bonus, and we got some uh, ocean views just there. Yeah. Can't get that one all the way. Oh, this is our spot here, pretty good, and day one. Oh, well, I haven't got time to fuck around. Got to um, get me rod sorted. Got to catch dinner, apparently. Otherwise, Hurry up. otherwise, what are we having for dinner? Oh, fuck! Two minute noodles. <laughs> yeah, otherwise, it's noodles. I'll rig a couple of rods up and um, uh, one with a lure and one with some bait. See how I go. Um, old fella down there, he had some herring and skippy. So, yeah, I'll take advantage of this uh, good weather and get amongst it. Uh, just uh, left camp. Camp is just near that white house. Old mate back there reckons he's not catching anything, but you never know. Beautiful day, unreal day. Got a big pot of dolphins out there. One of them's come uh, right in here. There he is. Chasing something. A couple of them. In there getting a feed. Oh, he's moving. There's a heap of them. Yeah, I might even give it a try off this rock right here. Ah. Unreal. Good little spot. Anyway, we'll check something out and see where it goes. Oh, I'm moving spots. Uh, I got a couple of herring, but I need another. Uh, usually around eight herring is good for a feed for Kel and I, so I'm gonna move on. Might just have a flick off here for a minute. See if I can get a couple more. Another one for the bag. He was not going anywhere. Very small, but uh, we need a feed tonight, so can't be too picky. Oh, they're slowly getting bigger. That's five, we need three more. Uh, move to another spot. 
Uh, I've got five herring now and a little pike thing I'll use for bait later on. I might have a cast out there. Six, just. One more, one more. Yes, yeah, so that's me hole. Seven herring. I'll fill these up and uh, do them now so I don't have to haul them all the way back. Uh, and I'll hopefully get one on the way back, have another flick. And eight, and I'm done. That's dinner. Oh, well, that's it. Got a feed. Uh, so we head back and um, yeah, have a cup of tea. Yeah. That's oh, a good spot. Very nice. We have to. Oh, just like that, no love. Don't want to be friends with you. No. The sad thing is, this is the first campfire for um, 2022. Yeah, so for tonight, got a herring that I caught the Savo and just flour, plain, plain flour, um, a whisk egg and panko crumbs. Uh, I find you need less flour than you think, but more panko crumbs than you think. Panko. There he is, and then chuck him in the pan. Lovely. And there you go. That's nine herring. Holy shit! Did you catch a, nine. Nine. Damn. Went all out because I knew you'd be hangry. You are a little hangry, aren't you? No. Huh? Perfectly reasonable. Kel's got a coleslaw going. Coleslaw and herring. Go from the bottom. Hmm? Should I go from the bottom? You can go from wherever you want.
Uh, it's a little uh, overcast this morning, but not too bad. And the wind, I think that's uh, northerly. So, but the good thing is here is you just don't really get any swell coming in. So, yeah, still pretty nice, still pretty warm. Uh, we're just getting sorted this morning and there's uh, an inlet, sort of river. Back in March. Uh, it's a couple of k's over the back over there. So we're going to um, sort some gear out and go over drive and a flick in that. Might get a couple of broom or something. But uh, yeah, just come down to check out the ocean. Yeah, if you want to launch the boat, there's a bit of a ramp down here. Straight into that. Oh, we have made it down to the river. Yeah, it looks pretty deep. Yeah, well, uh, we'll have a flick around here, maybe walk up the bank. Yeah, I don't really have any um, bait that would sort of work other than that little pipe I caught yesterday. So I'll fill that up and um, chuck that out and see if we can snag a couple of brim. Joel's famous for um, Brim on the rock bar, aren't you? Well, I mean, you haven't beaten me, so. No. Yeah. Go that way. Go that way. Okay. Yeah, real uh, goldy colour, eh? We're going to relocate, but first I've got to make some money. Um, just cleaned up the riverbank and make a few dollars while I'm at it, you know? Or you got to do what you got to do. Some dirty bastard left. Uh... Oh, it's easy a dollar here. Couple over here. Oh, Kel's on too. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, oh shit. Shit. That is a donkey. That is huge. Oh, I'll Holy make all the money and you just catch the big brim. Holy shit. That is a big brim. Oh, 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 he's off. He's off. Uh, literally right there. I was just about to pull it in. Holy <laughs> shit. That is awesome. Get my 40. That is pretty fucking close. You gotta put its tail down. Oh. Oh, oh yes. 41. She did it. We catch and release this big girl. <laughs> sure. Nice. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Sweet, we're just gonna release him. Big dog like that. 41. Go on. Nice one. Boom. <laughs> nice, crack the 40. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, we're not too sure how these river ones are going to taste. Yeah. And. Not worth killing something that size. Yeah, just sort of let him go. Um, and brim, uh, brim take ages to grow. Um, so, a big one like that. I don't know, I'm no brim expert, but he, I reckon he's well over 20 plus years old. But anyway, uh, that was awesome. Well done. You Broke the 40. Yeah. 
well outfish me I was in the say, brim when, department. When was the last time you did that? <laughs> Never. <laughs> 41. Damn. It was literally just right there. Like I'd pulled it right in. It had a couple of hits out there. Sweet. And then I was like, oh fuck, it's right here. And I pulled it up and I felt a bang. And I was like, oh, just dropped the sinker back on the ground. And boom, off she went. It was awesome. Yeah, oh, I can honestly say I've never seen a brim that big before. That's cool. <laughs> That's good. Cool. I've got a tear in my eye. <laughs> You're proud. No, nah, it's just bark. <laughs> you good? Yeah, you got that stuck <laughs> yeah, in there. Something stuck in my eye. <laughs> I was getting excited when I jumped over that tree and something <laughs> smacked me in the face. <laughs> All right, I'll keep um, gathering rubbish. Kel's gonna keep fishing. So I've got some roo meat. Uh, so that is gonna go in bucket of bill. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in the marinade uh, overnight, which is just a uh, brown vinegar and a bit of worst shear sauce. So I'm just gonna slice this up into strips so I can put it in a um, bucket of build tomorrow. Uh, but I'll leave this one in the fridge overnight marinating. Um, I've done a heap of jerky in the past with uh, kangaroo back straps and it turns out the best. Um, roux meat is very lean. There's no, almost no fat on it. So yeah, I'll, um, I'll cut it all up and see how we go. So I managed to get all the uh, meat hung. It's probably the most I've ever put in old bucket of bill. Uh, yeah, I'll snap the lid down. And the power cord. She's away. <laughs> 